Is this new role taking you completely out of the Rizzolian Isles game? No, I'm going to be doing another episode uh, at the end of the month, it looks like. So, yeah. No, I love that show, and yeah, I'm glad to be going back to it. Nice. Yeah. So what attracted you to this project? Besides Jennifer Love Hewitt in lingerie, <laughs> uh, it was, uh, I like shows that kind of push the envelope, and um, this one definitely, when I, you know, heard about it and, you know, read the script, was something that uh, I knew people were going to talk about, and just the opportunity to work with Jennifer, uh, and then when I heard that Sybil was, was coming on board, I was like, you know, this is, you know, dream come true, and... Um, and I think what's great about this too is that uh, the show is not just about her going into this massage parlor and giving happy endings to all these guys, but it's also, um, you know, it's, it's a story about what would you do if you were put into this, you know, circumstance of, you know, having your spouse run off, run off on you, and so many people are quick to judge and say, well, you know, that's just, you know, that's wrong that she would do this and whatever. But you know, when you think about it. You know, until you walk in someone's shoes, you know, it's hard to judge someone else. And um, this show definitely gets people talking. So, And it's been fun. Can you talk about the relationship between Evan and Riley? Because because <coughs> his brother and yeah. is now gone, there's yeah. a possibility of... Well, my character Evan has been in love with Riley his whole life. And kind of secretly, and I think she kind of knows that she re that he really cares about her but you know Evan had his older brother Kyle who was the star football player who came in and kind of swept her off her feet and I think as you get older people may not always be what you thought or hoped that they would be and I think that's kind of what's happened with with Riley and Kyle's relationship in the sense that they're you know uh, nine years into their marriage I guess and um, I think he's not necessarily the guy that she had hoped he would be in a, in a lot of ways. In some ways, you know, they still have great chemistry, and you can tell that they really love each other. But in other ways, you know, it he seems like he's not living up to certain things that I think maybe she would hoped he would be. And now that he's gone, Evan is kind of now it's his opportunity to step up and maybe be the guy that she was hoping Kyle would be. And uh, Evan's always been someone who's kind of flown under the radar and never really felt like he knew how to step up and, and be a man. But now that Kyle's gone, there's the opportunity to do so. And he loves Riley's kids. And, um, you know, he's, he's a good guy, but he's wrestling and struggling with this thing of, I mean, this is my, my brother's wife. You know, but you can't deny when two people have feelings for each other. And I think as the series goes on, you see and you start to wonder, well, would Riley and Evan make a better match than Kyle and Riley? So, does that answer your question? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Do you think that he, that they do? Absolutely. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, what's not to like about Evan? Other than he's, uh, let's see. He, <laughs> well, I don't want to give away too much, but uh, um, apparently now Evan is going to be more of a cowboy. Uh, we've got a great showrunner named John Tinker who's come up with a lot of great ideas, and I've never really, I mean, I've ridden horses a little bit, and the first thing he said when I met him, he was like, do you ride horses? And I said, no, but I will, because I love the idea, and so uh, I think I'm going to be getting my hands dirty. Which character is more like you? The one you play on the client list or the Rosalian Island? Uh, definitely the character I play on the client list. Um, Tommy Rizzoli is a little bit of a screw-up. Um, you know, he's a lovable, kind of affable guy, but he always seems to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. And he likes to kind of push people's buttons and um, kind of see what he can get away with, and uh, which is a lot of fun to play. But in real life... Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm a little more like Evan. I'm a little more laid back and uh, I think a little more responsible. But I do like to get into trouble. So. Well, I mean, you, you keep calling him the good guy, saying Evan's such a good guy. But are we, I mean, I feel like there has to be a little more to him. Are we going to see maybe he butts heads with his brother? You know, what 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 is his journey 
outside of yeah, him well, and Riley. Evan is definitely someone who's starting to realize um, that in order to get the things you want in life, you have to kind of step up and risk and put yourself out there, which is something that he's not necessarily done before. Uh, so he gets into some confrontations with his boss at work because he's saying some inappropriate things about Riley. And we realize that Evan isn't afraid to stand up and put his foot down or his fist where it needs to be if someone says something that offends him or if, you know, uh, or if he feels like anything is threatening what he cares about. And he definitely cares about Riley and her, her kids and her family. Um, so we start to see that, that Evan is... Um, is kind of stepping into his own manhood, I guess you could say, and uh, going after what he really wants. And that's not always easy. Do you think Evan is suspicious of what Riley is really doing? You know, he's a little suspicious, but I think he's more... He's happy that she's happy, um, and at least it seems like she's being she's able to take care of her kids and she gets to keep the house and I think seeing her happy is the most the most important thing to him um, so and I think he's 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 someone who probably doesn't th think that much about um, about stuff and I think, like I said, I think he's m more um, satisfied with the fact that, you know, things seem to be good right now. Um, and when and if he does find out what she does, you know, I think he's got some pretty high moral standards. So I think that's going to be pretty confrontational when and if that that happens. Time for one last question. Do you have a favorite scene from the series? <laughs> I think my favorite scene was when I go to pick up Riley at this bar where she's with the spa girls and they're all like doing karaoke and they sing this song at this west western country bar and she's all drunk and I end up having to take her home and I throw over my shoulder the fireman carry her home and walk into the house and she's kind of like drunk and we go into the bedroom and she starts trying to take her clothes off and I'm trying to keep her clothes on trying to be the gentleman and then you know, but I can't help it, and she's like, sheets are flying, and then like I get her into the bed, and she's like looking at me, and like we have this really charged moment where you think we might end up doing something, and then she calls me Kyle, her brother, or her brother, her husband's, um, my brother's name, and it kind of just like, the energy just gets zapped out of the room, and I realize that. Uh, that it's just, I'm not sure if you can print that or not, but um, that was my, my favorite scene in the film so far.